Okay, this is a review of my home first aid kit. Um, I'm going to have to kind of whip through this kind of fast to make it before the camera cuts out because it's already done it twice to me already. So, <laughs> um, It's in a Condor deployment bag. Um, they're great bags. I own another one, a black one. I paid for like 15 bucks for it. So they're very inexpensive bags. It worked great as an EDC. So when I seen the red one, I figured, man, that's going to be great for a home kit. It's red. It came with the, the patch, so you know right away what it is. There's no mistake in what it is. So uh, let's go over it and see what's inside, and I'll try to give you some features of the bag as well um, within the time frame that I have. So it's got a nice little grab handle on the top, a couple SRB quick-release buckles. Um, on each end, it's got a little compartment, which is comparable with the M1 Maxpedition pouch. Um, it's slightly bigger than this. This pouch will fit in there with no problem and some room to give, give you a size comparison. Um, on the front of the bag, I have a Army Surplus First Aid Individual Kit, just the bag, and I keep my blood pressure reader in there. And then we'll go into this side pocket. This is my breathing kit. In here, I have an Ambu mask. These things are awesome. You can get them on uh, Amazon for about eight or nine bucks. Comes in a nice hard case with a lanyard. Complete kit. You get your gloves, you get your mask, and you get your wipes. The mask is uh, collapsed right now. You push it out. You breathe through the one-way valve, and that keeps you from getting any bodily fluids in your mouth. It's also great if you leave this with the patient and the ambulance driver takes over because this can be used with their rescue bag. Um, they're, they can attach it and squeeze it. This is reusable. You can wash it out with bleach. You must throw away the one-way valve. Um, that is not cleanable. But it does come with an extra one-way valve. So again, great, great deal for the price. I have some airways. Um, I've seen videos on how to use them. I'm not experienced with them, so I wouldn't attempt it. I would leave this for a medical professional, but it's there. And then I just have the booklet for the Ambu mask in case someone who doesn't have CPR training needs to know. And from my CPR training, I got these little books that came in my little kit they give you when you're done. For adult, children, and infant CPR and the AED, um, the automated electronic defibrillator, they train you in that too. Really cool class, worth it. Certification lasts two years. Um, and then you have these reference books in the meantime if you don't do it on a regular basis. Tongue depressor. So that's my little airway kit. As you can see, like I said, the M1 fits in there with no problems. All right. So on the back of the bag, you have your Molly system, the snap system. Um, I don't attach it to anything that way, so I use it for extra storage. And I have a generic SAM splint in here. Got it on sale, thought I would try it. And I have the rest of the blood pressure monitor, the hose and the cuff. Keep that in a nice bag, keep it nice and clean since it's on the outside. In the other pocket, I have a variety of things in here. We got some finger splints. And uh, these work great, I can tell you from personal experience. I busted a couple of fingers and they work well. Padding, come with a little Velcro to hold them on. Got a stingies. I got some. This is plastic perforated waterproof tape. This stuff is sticky and it works great. This I picked up from my local dollar store. Um, it's a cold wrap. It's an elastic bandage, compression bandage, um, and it comes with the clips, so it's the old style. But it's supposed to, you know, reduce swelling, keep things nice and cool. I figured for a buck I'd give it a try. And then I have a bag of some various tapes, some sports tape fabric tape and then some plastic tapes and uh, I keep them in the that's it for that I keep them in the plastic bag to try to keep them as clean as possible and then we go to the front of the bag the to get into these two pockets you need to release the buckles there's molly on the front of the bag there's molly on each side of the bag plenty of ways to add storage capabilities also on each side of the bag there's little holders you can use them as pen holders or as flashlight holders Okay, in this section here, we got a couple pairs of gloves. Quick relief. Um, this is the topical powder that stops bleeding right away. Very cool. It works very well. I've had the misfortune of having to use this stuff. 
show you what it looks like. They give it a nice little pointy tip there so it's easy to pour it into the wound. My dog got eaten <laughs> and the, she got her two canines through the top of her head. She was bleeding like crazy like head wounds do. You know, at the time I was really hurting for money so I couldn't afford to take her to the vet. I don't recommend doing that, take your dog to the vet. Um, but I cleaned out the wound really, really good even though it was bleeding like crazy and it just wouldn't stop. I poured this stuff in about a minute later, boom, it was done, sealed up, no problems. She got no ill effects, no infection, but again, take them to the vet. Some antiseptic towelettes. This is my little boo-boo kit. It's got some antiseptic, some band-aids, some blood soaking material, and some burn gel. Burn gel is awesome. I go over this in more detail in um, another first aid video on an adventure medical kits. It's got lidocaine in there, so it's really good stuff. Um, most of my RX medication is actually in the house, so this was just left over. There's some anti-diarrheal and some Benadryl. Um, there's an inexpensive surgical mask in here. I actually need to get another. Some more masks. Got a couple of tools. Nice pair of quality scissors. They're more for surgical type things, though. A pair of hemostats. I don't have any Curve Kellys. I would like to get some Curve Kellys, but these will work for now. Um, we got a couple of tweezers, dollar store acquisition, and that's coming out of this pocket here. So you got this room up in front, and you got two two of these black pockets here, and then in here I just have some Q-tip ac uh, applicators, and then this back section here is not literally a pocket. It's actually just a retention system, because if I stick my hand down in here. You can see my fingers come out the bottom, so you got to be careful what you put in there. I just have a dollar store manicure set. Never know what that can come in handy for. Another pair of scissors that came out of another first aid kit. These are from China, but man, they are really straight. They cut really well. They're sharp. Couldn't get over the quality because usually they're not so, so nice. Um, a digital thermometer, again, from the dollar store. It's nice to have that in there. And then some cheap tape that came out of a, another first aid kit. And that's everything in the front pocket there. Okay. Then in the center here, it's kind of a open slip pocket. You know, it's, it's very tight. It's, it's a little hard to get stuff in and out of there, but it holds an amazing amount of stuff. Um, when I first tried it out, I think I shoved six 6.9 6 fluid ounce ice mountain water bottles in here with no problem. Um, so that gives you a little little idea. Stethoscope, awesome. Learned how to use it. It's really cool. Bought a cheapie, tried it out on the dogs. <laughs> Liked it, wanted to learn how to use it, and then I got this from MDF um, Instruments, made in the USA. Awesome company, quality customer service, quality stethoscopes. It came with some other attachments um, and a couple of repair pieces. Highly recommend that company couple of cold packs, bag of goodies from the dollar store, rolled gauze. You can cheap out on rolled gauze. It's good for blood soaking, you know, wrapping up, uh, you know, sterile bandages on your arm. You get a nice wide variety. They have all different sizes. Um, and then I, ace bandage that came out of another medical kit. Um, and it's the old style with the clips, um, but it works. Okay, moving on. Big boo-boo band-aids, awesome boo-boo band-aids. I reach for a band-aid, that's the kind of band-aid that I want. <laughs> so I got a whole pack of those in there. And everything's in the baggies, of course, to keep them clean, sterile. A couple more gloves, triangular bandage, it's your safety pins. These are all from the dollar store, they work great. Two by two sterile pads, a bunch of them. Two by three non-adherent sterile pads. 3 by 3s It's nice to have a nice variety of stuff. Uh, these are 2.5 by 4 inch. These are dressing bandages. Um, very cool. like these. These work out really great. Okay, then these actually came from eBay. eBay is a great place to get refill kits for your first aid. That way you can be selective. Do you need gauze pads? Do you need medication? Do you need ointments? Um, you can cover it, you know, doing that. This was a nice kit. It came from M. Fasco company. Um, very inexpensive. Um, great refills. So you get six 2x2s, six 3x3s, six 4x4s, and two oval iPads. 
nice compact, ton of, ton of use out of that. Um, Survival Medics is another great place to get your refills from. I've purchased from them as well. Heavy duty bleeding in a lock sack bag. Love these bags, airtight, watertight. They keep the dirt and dust out. Um, I've made first aid kits out of these bags. They work very well. Got a couple of five by nine abdominal pads. Great blood suckers. So we got that. And that is everything in the main section of the bag. There's only one pocket in the bag. It's this mesh pocket back here that you can see. And in there, Wilderness and Travel Medicine by uh, Dr. Eric Weiss. Awesome, can't recommend it enough, get it. It's the best medical book out there going, in my opinion, for these kind of kits. It covers broken bones, altitude sickness, burns, wound closure, dislocations, fractures, sprains, strains, chest injuries, gunshot injuries, everything. Straightforward, quick, tells you what to do, gives you steps how to do it, gives you advice, tells you when to get the hell out of there. Um, can't recommend this enough. Out of all the medical books I've ever bought, that is the most direct and just awesome book. The last thing in that pocket, oh, next to last, whole bunch of wet wipes. Wet ones are the, the best. They're the biggest ones that I've found, and they also have the most uh, cleaning material in them. Um, this stuff, you could wring out puddles of this stuff. Great. Totally recommend them. Love having clean hands. And the last thing in here, nice high quality pair of scissors. Cutting through clothing, cutting through gauze, bandages, whatever. There you go. So, that's everything inside the bag. Okay, except for the pen. I left the pen on there. But as you can see, you know, when it's all piled up, that is just a ton of stuff in this little bag. It's great, it's got great storage capabilities and you know, it's just whatever your imagination is, you can um, configure it in any way that'll work for you. Um, obviously I'm missing some stuff in here that uh, needs my attention. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to work on this bag a little bit, but you know, you gotta peek at the bag. It's not real thick denier nylon. Um, they're not dual zippers, they're not YKK zippers, um, but at the price point that you get the bag, um, there's no padding on the bottom, though, either. That was a major um, thing I did not like. Um, but you have the ability to move the straps and store some other things in there. But for what you pay for the bag, you know, other than I paid double because of the color and the shortage at the time, um, if you can pick them up for 15 bucks, they're awesome. Um, Walmart actually has a three-day supposed emergency kit uh, made with this style of bag and it gives you an idea of you know again uh, what you can store in it but anyways that is my mound of first aid gear out of the Condor deployment bag I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you're enjoying great gadgets and gear uh, stay tuned for some more videos and leave any questions or comments in the comment section and thank you.